We've all probably heard it at some point in our lives. When there's a car accident in a parking lot, fault is always split 50-50. And this is a total myth. I have no idea where this idea came from, but I thought the same thing when I started driving. It turns out many unsuspecting drivers fall victim to the myth when their car is hit in a parking lot by another vehicle. If a car accident happens within a parking lot, insurance companies use fault determination rules stipulated within the regulations under the Insurance Act, along with the Motor Vehicle Act, to assist in their determination of who is actually at fault for the accident. Well, the exact fault determination of a parking lot car accident will depend on the specifics of what happened. There are two very useful facts that everyone should be aware of when it comes to parking lot car accidents. First, a driver will be 100% at fault for the car accident if they fail to yield the right of way to a car that's passing by a parking space in the parking lot. This means that blindly backing out of a spot or pulling out without looking is not going to be a 50-50. Second, a driver will be 100% at fault for the car accident if they fail to yield to traffic traveling in the main road or section of the parking lot. This circumstance arises when a car in the feeder lanes, so the lanes with rows of spots, when that car attempts to merge or cut across traffic in the main section of the parking lot. This one makes sense because now a car is pulling out into a main lane of travel. The car pulling out is going to be at fault. To add another curveball into the mix, the fault determination rules don't consider weather conditions, road conditions, visibility, or the accidents of pedestrians. People are shocked to learn this, especially when one of these factors was the real reason the car accident happened. This means that the insurance company's determination for property damage may be different than what I, as a personal injury lawyer, would consider when it comes to who's at fault for a car accident. When serious injuries happen, every percentage of blame you accept will reduce your injury claim compensation. When I look at a car accident claim, I have to consider all of the circumstances of the car accident before deciding how much blame is owed. Ultimately, my job is to prove that another person was negligent and fully responsible for the car accident. I never assume that a car accident is 50-50 until there is evidence to show that both drivers were actually equally at fault for the car accident. If you or someone you know has been injured as a result of someone else's negligence or bad driving in a parking lot, call my team at Nova Injury Law and receive a free, no-risk case review. Our team ensures all potential clients come away with a better understanding of the important legal issues to consider, how much their claim may be worth, and why Nova Injury Law is the right team to help.